Hey guys, welcome back to day two. For those of you that are just joining us for March, yay, you made it to day two, <laughs> right? Yeah, no, seriously. Good on ya. Hopefully you did. <laughs> no, you're here, okay? So today is the just watching it like eating put cereal. That, put that spoon down. <laughs> okay, so today is day two. Today we're going to move our bodies slower than yesterday. We're gonna build some muscle. We're working through eight different exercises and we are working 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. We're gonna hit each exercise three times, so we're really burning out that muscle group. And don't forget to stick around for the finisher, because today we are going to sculpt those legs, okay? Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a chisel and ch -ch -ch -ch, like well, artists. Of that. Don't be scared. <laughs> don't be scared. Okay, equipment, what do we need? What do we need? Equipment. Get those shoulders down. In equipment land. <laughs> in like, can you see I'm scared? <laughs> don't be scared. Right. Okay. In equipment land, we have the mat, stability ball. We have a couple sets of weights, and I would suggest bringing around. We have fives and tens, so two and a half, five, five and ten, ten and fifteen, and then some plates. We have those for heel ra for raising those heels. So raise the um, If you don't have plates, you can use something that's about an inch or an inch and a half off the ground, or of course, nada, all right? There's always options. And then the core band and the pink thing, of course. Okay. So we do nothing without, without the it. pink thing. It's our favorite piece of equipment. For those of you that have been with us, this entire time, you know, you know. For those you of you that know. are just joining us, we love the pink Get thing. on it. If you don't have a pink thing, buy the pink thing. Okay? They don't pay us this extra for that. Thing. All right? <laughs> but, this thing. Yeah, don't get any twisted. <laughs> <laughs> There's other pink things? You may need multiple pink things, but or maybe, this is the one we're talking about Do you about call right something now. else pink thing? No, I don't okay. have a pink thing, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so it's we're going to get started <laughs> with the warm Anyway, <laughs> we're going to get Go started ahead. with our warm up, and this is where we get our bodies nice and warm. So, from the back of your space, we're going to hinge forward and walk your hands all the way out for inchworm. Are we okay. starting day two warm up right now? We are starting day two warm up right now. So, we want to make sure your hands are below your shoulders at the bottom of that walkout. Okay, actively pushing down through each mound of each finger to properly support and activate that back. Okay, we're here for another five seconds. And then we're gonna stay in that plank, plant one hand, and then the other arm goes all the way around for a nice big arc. So warming up those shoulder girdles. Now try to keep your hips square to the ground as we windmill. And if you feel like you're flip-flopping like a fish out of water, you can always take your legs a little bit wider. <sighs> nice, there we go. How nice is that it's going feel? well so far? It's going well so far. So, so, <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> Second warm-up exercise. Okay, last 10 seconds. <sighs> Still staying in this plank position. We're gonna open up our hips. Okay, three, two, one. Both hands on the ground. Walk one foot forward and reach forward. Putting the weight on that forward bent knee. Can really opening here? up that hip. A few seconds here. Hold. Oh, yeah. Take it back. Feels so good. So if you spend a lot of time sitting, then this feels like heaven. Yes. Or hell. <laughs> or hell. <laughs> Depends on where you find your pleasure, <laughs> where your pleasure sensors are. Okay, we're gonna come on up. We're stepping back into a reverse lunge. Once you get down, we're gonna take the hands across the forward bent knee. So a nice big rotation through the trunk, taking it over to the other side. Yay, march. Oh, that feels so good too, it doesn't does. it? It does. March usually means like March break, but it, not Easter this year. Right around the corner. I know. It's a spring bit. skiing. Sorry. Spring skiing. It's fun to go skiing in the spring. Totally. <laughs> have <laughs> no? you done that? Yeah, I have. Oh. Okay. Hip opener circles. So we're gonna take, stay on one side, really opening up that hip. We'll tell you when to switch. Oh, this hip really needs it. Feels like, it feels so tight actually. Really? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't it feel, yeah. <laughs> feels so tight. I spent actually, a lot of time sitting right. yesterday. Can we switch? Switch. Switch. And this one's just loosey-goosey. 
So you might find that one feels a little bit different than the other. I know why this one's a lot tighter. I tend to cross my legs when I'm sitting at the computer and I was at the computer all day yesterday. Well, almost all day yesterday. So that side feels a little bit stuck. Okay. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> okay, nice big arm circles. I want you to feel the chest open up as those arms go behind you. And as you scoop up and over, feel your back widen. Warm up all the muscles of your back. You Should we switch, switch directions? Yeah. Yeah. Took the words right out of my mouth. Think so of we're scooping scoop. back, right? Twisting those wrists. Yeah, Ooh. I am. Yeah. Okay, last one. We're coming into a deep squat. Drive through the midsoles to push up. So when you come down, think of sending your hips forward so that your gaze tracks the horizon. We're not looking down. And you can use those elbows to push out on the knees. Whew. Ding, ding, ding. That means Yay. it's go time. Okay. Seconds. Our very first exercise, we have a plank hold with a renegade row. Okay, so reach for whatever dumbbell that's going to challenge you. We're going to go with 10. We're staying with just one arm. Whether you need to be on your toes or your knees, we want the hand stacked directly below the shoulder. Okay, let's go. So we're staying here. Keep your elbow nice and close to the body. We're here for three sets. Think of actively pushing down through all the mounds of the fingers of that hand on the ground. If this is too intense and you need to drop to your knees, make sure the hips are fully extended so we're not piking our bum out behind us. If you have wrist issues, you can always take the other dumbbell and then stack your wrist on top of so you don't have that bend in it. That might add some relief, or if you're on a softer surface, you can come up on your knuckles. Okay, roll those other wrists side. out. Roll it out, roll it out. We're going over to the other side, okay? We're on in six seconds, so get into position. And this is my wounded hand. Okay, let's go. So you might find a little bit easier in one side of the body as opposed to the other. You really want to be aware of your imbalances and try to work to correct them. My right arm's injured, so I always start on my left first. Woohoo! 15 seconds, keep it! Woo. Keep those hips square to the ground. So when you start to open up, readjust, square those hips off, and then come right back. Oh! Two! One! All right, we're gonna split the time. Roll it out, roll it out. Next up, guys, after this, we have one more set. We're gonna need that pink thing. We're gonna do some seated rows, so just the pink thing on your butt. We'll show you what that's all about. Butt first, in five. <laughs> butt first! <laughs> Always butt first. Here we go. We'll let you know when to switch. Did any of your kids come out butt first? <laughs> no. Any of yours? What's that called? Um, breach. Yeah. Breach. No. It's another word for it. Breach is foot first. Butt first. I can't remember. Are you switching? Switch! <laughs> you have me thinking about birthing. <laughs> <laughs> this should seem like a cakewalk then. It is a cakewalk. Woo! That's all you have to do. Think, Think about, about birthing. birthing a child. It's like nothing. Five seconds. <laughs> oh, two. And one. Whew. Okay. That was nothing. Like I said, grab for that pink thing. Now, you're going to want to set up because you're going to want to get your resistance just right. Oh, you're doing it that way. I'm doing it that way. So look at the options. I like doing it this way because I can spread my feet out to add additional Here resistance. Tammy's running down. So you're going to stand nice and tall, stack that spine. Make sure shoulders are rolled back. And you're just gonna grace those forearms along the body, driving that pink thing back towards your body. Elbows shooting back towards the wall. And I'm gonna run down even further. 
I will too for my next set. You want to make sure you're sitting nice and high on those sit bones. So think of peeling the fleshy bits of your bum away from you. Peel the bum. And last one. All right. These are good. So good. They're my favorite. Have done these before? On, on Pilates. Okay, no, but I mean, I don't think we've done them on Who knows? Tone and Torch. Who knows? I want even more resistance. See what I did there? I doubled up on the pink thingy. Shoulders back, traps down. Are we working? <laughs> trap, go. trap. Trap, trap. Don't fall into the trap, trap. So I'm gonna add a tempo here. Three, two, one, quick down. Three, two, one, quick down. These always make me feel so strong. I know. So you can obviously do this standing up and tipping over too. This is a nice first place to start and it really lets you isolate those muscles in the back that you're trying to target. You're not worried about your hinge. Your lower back doesn't come into play at all here. Okay, we get one more. I was a little bit overzealous with that rung up. You should oh, try it. It's insane. Insanity. I want it. What do I do? Double up. Double up. That's it. And then Double the trouble. Round. Yeah, that's it. That's all. Woo. There's so many different things we can do with these bad boys. Last one. Oh, yeah. That's where it's at. That's where it's at. <laughs> Oh! Three, two, next? one, quick. Okay. So after this, we're going to reach for those dumbbells again, okay? That would give those wrists a little bit of a break. Woo! We're going to work with one dumbbell. I would suggest something lighter, either a two, 2.5, or a five. Or if you don't have dumbbells, even the ankle weights will work well yes, on your wrist here. That's a good option. Last or one. Or a plate. If you guys have a plate at home, sometimes you don't have a 2.5 dumbbell. Just grab whatever you have. I'm gonna go for five pounds. What are you doing? Yep, me too. Okay. So we are coming into our push-up position. Hands slightly wider than the chest. Roll those shoulders down and back. Up on our toes or your knees. Lower down. For your push-up, actively push the ground away from you. We're going to transfer all the way to the left hand as the right arm reaches for that dumbbell and extends forward. Lower down with control. Don't forget to transfer that weight before picking up that dumbbell. Oh, you're alternating. Yes, I am, honey child. I'm staying on one side. Because she likes the burn. <laughs> How do you know? I'm trying not to fall into the trap trap. Right. Keep the back of your head in line with your spine. Was that for me? No, it was for me. <laughs> you saw me look well, up. I think a ten the tendency yeah. is to let your forehead kind of go down to the ground, right? So if you tuck your chin in and send your head back, it straightens you out. It straightens that shit out. Good tip. Good tip. Here we go. I need it. It's sort of a self reminder. Reminder for the people. I'm including people. me. Oh! It gets hard transferring that weight. Your core has to fire, right? Woo! Come on! You got this. Remember the option to go down to your knee if you need to. Three seconds, two, and well done. If you need to roll those Woo. wrists out, roll them out. Roll yeah. them out, roll them out. So what's an option if you're like, God, like someone I know a client has really bad wrists, maybe go against the wall? They can go option? against the wall if it's really bad. If taking dumbbells into your hands aren't helping, you can go ahead against the wall or take your push-up on an incline. Feet on the ground and you can take your hands either on the edge of your couch, edge of a coffee table, anything that helps decrease the amount of weight, an incline or the wall will also help. All right, switch sides. 
if you're doing that one side like me. Woo! What do we got next? What are we, what are we coming next to? Next up, we need, we need the plates and we need a dumbbell or another plate. So you're gonna put your, elevate Woo! your heels on those plates and then something to raise above head. So whatever weight that is for you guys. I like this one. So you can sort of pick your poison by how you space out these plates. Right, Jazz? Totally. Three, two. So get your spacing right. Round and shoulder one. width apart. We're gonna put those heels on the plate, resting the toes just in front. As you come down into that deep squat, Tammy's raising at the same tempo that dumbbell right overhead. Now, a lot of you may have mobility. This is, she's making it look easy. It's not that easy. Oh, flatterer. It's actually quite hard. <laughs> no flatterer. Okay, to so have that much mobility in the bottom and the top half doesn't come easy to a lot of people. You have to work at opening up that front line. So if you're here, that's okay. Yes. If this is where you are, that's okay. So you guys do not have to have your heels Woo! on the plate. This is always an option. And just bring the weight up as high as you can, all right? Don't force it to the point where you're unbalanced. Just work through the mobility, warm it up. Guaranteed by the third set, you'll have it a little higher. That's a good point. We're not tossing that weight around. We're moving it with our muscles. Is it a money back guarantee? <laughs> no, it's not. Shoulders back. Oh. This is good practice for that barbell overhead squat. If you Keep ever want to get there. Keep your ribs knitted together. Belly breathe. I love this. If you're finding it super easy, you can elevate even further at the back. Woo! Or you can up your weight in the front. Woo! Okay, we have one more of those. And then I'm gonna need you to go ahead and grab a second dumbbell, okay? It's getting hot in here. Is it just me? No, it's hot. Okay, it's hot. We're warming it that up. That means spring is coming. Here we go. Oh. I love how deep, how these deep squats feel. For someone with tight hips, it's like heaven when you actually are able to get low, <laughs> right? Yeah. And I do, I have very tight hips. 10, Ten seconds. seconds. Should be feeling it in the shoulders, the rear delts. You're pulling that weight towards your body. So you're, you're moving. Oh. Okay, you're also gonna feel it in the anterior delts as well. Right. Okay, go ahead and grab for those two dumbbells. Get rid of those plates. So we're gonna stand nice and tall with our dumbbells facing each other or the heels of our dumbbells facing each other. Then we're taking them overhead. So thumb to thumb. Pinky finger to pinky finger with control. Exhale up, <sighs> inhale down. Now here, we're gonna wanna pop the rib cage, see? Don't do it. Say no, say no! And if you need to go down and wait, that's okay, there's no harm, no foul. If you have shoulder issues and you need to do this without weight, that's okay. Last Just one. as before, we can always take those ankle weights onto our wrists. Woo. I'll be going down. You're gonna go down? Are we doing down? I think I might go down, then back up. I think I'll join you. I have shoulder. I have left shoulder. I always talk Look about our injuries, damn I'm it. I'm dripping. You are. <laughs> okay, Am who's I? salty? You're spritzing, but oh, you're not okay. dripping. Here we go. Glowing. Okay, so if you were working with a heavier weight and you drop down, this is gonna feel like a hot knife through butter. So, <laughs> hot knife such through a butter. Good analogy. So you wanna make sure that everything is in check if the weight's suddenly light. 
We're actively pushing down through our feet. Think of picking up on your thighs so your legs are active even though we're not moving them. Core is engaged. Ribs are knitted together. I know it's a lot to think about. Just listen to our voices. Shoulders down and back as we take those arms up and down. Last one. Woo! Wasn't that like a hot knife through butter? It was. Told it was perfect. Ya. Okay. What are you doing? Going back up? I'm gonna up? go back up. All right, let's do it. Do it, do it, do it. All right, after this, we are going to need a dumbbell and the pink thing. If you got it. It's an option, yeah. We'll show you. That's the most of what you need. Okay, we're so back on. Grab that if you have it. I also want to give you the option for one arm at a time if you're sort of stuck in between weight but you want to go heavier and you feel like you might be flinging that weight around a little bit. So we're going to give the other arm a little break if that's the case and work them unilaterally, okay? Still controlling the entire movement. Beautiful. Tempo is so slow. The slower the descent, the more your body is working to control the weight, okay? Don't let the weight control you. You control the weight. Woo. If you're tossing that weight around with ease, you're doing it wrong. Okay, so pink thing again, this is an option, right? So we're gonna get our feet around the pink thingy, just like so. Ah, get around! And we're going to loop the dumbbell and into that goblet squat, okay? So we so make sure are it's going, the center rung. Yeah, the center rung. Yeah, I knew that was, <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Snap it. I was just gonna say. I'm so this is a lateral lunge. We're dropping down to the side. And you wanna make sure that your bum goes back and down. I'm with you. So lots of flexion through the ankle here. Okay, getting nice and deep. Chest stays up. Sometimes we might need to adjust our stance, go a little bit wider if you need to, and rest. You guys, notice I've looped it. So that means, let me do it for you. Put the dumbbell through and then wrap around like a ponytail. And if you just can't figure out how that works, you can take it behind your head as well. Like so, I'm looping okay. again. I just can feel this popping off. Oh! So I love this is what we call it. a goblet hold. When you're bracing it with the palms, it's not really any kind of a grip. 15 seconds. My feet are sliding apart. I'm gonna be splitting too soon. I wanna go the same way as you. Here we go. Looks so much oh. better. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Nice. Okay. Third set. So if you don't have a pink thingy, look at me. I feel like Borat. <laughs> <laughs> no, it needs to. <laughs> yes, there you go. <laughs> if you don't have a pink thingy, but you have a heavier dumbbell, you can skip the pink thingy and just go heavy, okay? We're back in three seconds. Next. Two, and one. Next step, guys, you'll just need a Swiss ball if you have it. It's a crunch on the ball, so if you don't have it, no stress, no fuss. You'll be on the ground. Woo! I feel that burn. You feel that burn? Feel it. Oh. Feel it in my inner thighs, actually. In those adductors. I'm sliding. Woo! Nice and low. She's not sliding because of the th pink thing. The floor here today is just... Super slippery. Somebody had a party here last night. Oh, baby no. powder. I feel like, yeah, I was gonna say, oh, baby powder. I wish they did. Then there'd be sticky syrups all over the floor. Okay, so reach for that clean. ball. This is gonna be interesting because we might slide right out from under ourselves. You know what? Haha. -ha. I'm gonna try and use the plates. I'm gonna start seated and then walk out. Okay, we're working. Hands behind the head, we're curling up. Now as you curl up, try to resist the temptation to tuck your pubic bone up towards the sky. Don't do it! Don't do it! 
light grip on the head. So we're not pulling that neck. Elbows stay wide. Push the back into the ball. Activate the core. Knit the ribs as we curl up, okay? My feet are sliding. How are you doing over there? The plates are helping a little bit. Not gonna lie. Woo. A little bit. But really, Wonderful. you know what we need to do? You know, it's gross. In basketball, you'll see like players lift their hand and then stick the bottom. Is that the what they're doing? That's what, they need. That's what you need to Who do. Who knew? I'm not gonna do it in front Who of you knew? guys. But if you're having the same problem, you're by yourself. Do it up. Do <laughs> it. Lick those souls. Lick those souls. Just straight what? lick the soul. Straight lick the souls. <sighs> Curl up. So, how do you find your breath here? On the exhale, we're gonna curl up, okay? So imagine when you exhale and curl up, you're squeezing all the air out of that diaphragm. If you're a visual person, that should work wonders for you. All right. Oh, feel it, feel it. The ball gives you the ability to fully extend through the abdominals before coming back up. Do you see that full range of motion? Oh, that my hurts. stomach, <laughs> my stomach. In a good way. All right, guys, so this is the last set of the main workout. But of course, the finisher, all legs today. So if you want that legs, sculpted leg I always burn, want it. Stick around, it's only 12 minutes, 35 seconds work, 15 seconds rest. Reach all the way over the ball, three sets this time. For those of you that are coming back after January and February Tone and Torch, you're gonna find that we're tossing all sorts of different timing and tempos. So look alive, you gotta pay attention. Sometimes there's eight exercises, sometimes there's 16 exercises. What? <sighs> oh my lanta! Saucy, another so eight seconds. Oh! Breathe. I can't. Last one. <sighs> oh. My gosh. Oh, oh, that was a good well one. Well done. That was fun. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. So for those of you that need it, grab some water, towel off, and come right back. Don't go anywhere. We're going to light it up with legs, okay? For our finisher, our lovely leg finisher, all you really need is a mat and those good old core bands, okay? Yeah. All right. Okay, it's time for that finisher where we're going to light up your legs, okay? <laughs> we're gonna get right into it. For those of you that are new to the finisher, this is a little way, it's like the, the, the sprinkles. Yeah. The sprinkles the on icing, your ice cream. sprinkles. The icing, the sprinkles, the cherry, the... Mm. And it usually tends to be, um, we focus on one part of the body. Usually, sometimes we do a full body blast but we're really trying to isolate certain parts and get that definition for you guys. So it's an extra 12 minutes, which doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're concentrated on one area, we're gonna get you those lines that you're looking for. That we're gonna light it extra up. Extra sculpt, yeah. We're gonna light it up. It's the foam on the cappuccino. It is. Are you a foam or no foam kind I'm of girl? I'm a no foam person. I'm a foam kind of girl. I like it on my nose. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, so 35 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. We're gonna go through six different exercises. Remember you need your core band. That's it, that's all. Let's get working, okay? <laughs> 